Hi there, it's Kai from Kachiko Crafts and today I have this baby card for you featuring two techniques. I will show you how to quickly make a shaker card and also how you can really simply do a paper piecing technique. First I will make a window for my shaker from a normal cardstock. I will use two types of squares, the stitched one and then the scalloped one. And this is the square I got. So now I will tape down this piece of foil. I will first cut it down to the perfect size and you can see that it fits perfectly. I will now tape it down with some double sided tape. I will make sure to put it around and around so every piece of my foil is taped down so it won't move once we make a shaker. So this will be the shaker window and now I will start making my bunny. I want his onzi to be in a pattern so I will do a paper piecing technique. So I stamp out the bunny or better said it's on Z and now I will cut it down directly on the lines. And as you can see this is how it looks like. It's just an on Z and it's covered in pattern. Moving on I will now color the bunny in. I will use the grays for him because I wanted him to be really soft so he wouldn't really interfere uh, too much with everything else. So I will just blend everything out and then I will use this peach color for his ears, nose and I will even make a little cheeks. So I will do a normal alcohol marker coloring. I will layer down the dark color first and then blend it out with some softer colors. I will use the same grays for the clouds because I wanted my colors to match and I want really anything special. I will put the darkest color down where the shadows would be or just where I believe the shadows would be in real life. Um, if you struggle with this, just go with it and try, color some images and you will get better and better. Don't give up after just one try. So I will color his little toy also in grey, so we will actually have two main colors, this grey and then the pink of the shaker. Before die cutting this bunny out, I will now glue his onzi down with liquid glue and look at him, isn't he cute? Uh, next I will stamp the I love you sentiment from the same set and then I will start building my shaker. I will use these stripes of foam tape that is really great for shakers. I will put one on each side and then for the middle parts here I will just layer it down and then cut it in the end. I try to go as near as both ends as possible but as you can see the uh, sequence or better said confetti in this set here that I will use are quite big so I don't really have to worry about sequence escaping my shaker. So even though I may have a little border where the um, this foam tape isn't connected I won't have any trouble because the confetti are quite big. I have now removed the release paper and I will just center it in the middle. You can see that I put the confetti down first and I will layer this frame over it. And now the shaker is ready so I will just finish the card off with gluing down these three clouds that we made. I will use liquid glue to glue down these clouds. I will make sure that I apply enough glue but not too much so it won't bleed outside my clouds. Then I will pop the bunny up with some foam rectangles 
and this will actually finish up the card. Here I had some troubles because my foam uh, already uh, glued down, but I will just remove it and place it once again and that's it. So I hope that you will try either technique, so a shaker card or paper piecing. I love both of them and I think they are really fun. Thank you so much for watching, I will list all the supplies below in the description, so make sure you check it out. See you next time, bye bye!